All right, child one. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, or Chakwadas. The honors to the elder apostles, the great millstone. Salutation, much love to Yahweh Shai, who pushed out his word to the city. And this is the brother Ash from Great Millstone Temple Church. Um, coming back at you, uh, doing a video, Lord, to us edifying. And, um, you know, I just really want to hit, hit on um, a couple of uh, scriptures, Lord, to us edifying, uh, going into, um, you know, not being ashamed of this gospel, all right? Not being ashamed of, of, of this truth, all right? Gospel, the truth. Good news, not being ashamed of you. How about you, my side? All right, so nonetheless, let's start in Mark 8, verse 38. It says, Whoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. All right, so what, well, man? You know, it's plain and simple. I mean, that's. No need no explanation on that. If you're ashamed of you, how about Shimei Shai? Now, if you're ashamed of this word, and guess what? The Lord going to be ashamed of you when he come back. Because when you're ashamed of somebody, you want to avoid them. You want to abhor them. All right, damn, I'm ashamed of uh, uh, such and such, so I'm going to stay away from them. So um, nobody knows I'm affiliated with them. Or so guess what? The Lord going to do the same with you. He gonna he gonna uh, 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 avoid you when he returns, okay. As a matter of fact, let's get that word a shame. All right, Mark eight. All right, the word there for uh, a shame. Let's see if it's the same one. Yep, it's the same one. So it's a uh, Strong's G, eighteen seventy. A pi schunomai. A pi schunomai. A pi schunomai. It means to be ashamed. All right. Um. To feel shame for something, be ashamed. Okay. Okay, well, oh, well, let's go to this one. D one fifty three says to disfigure, to dishonor, to suffuse with shame, make a shame, be ashamed. All right, so no, nonetheless, it is what it is. Being ashamed of the Lord. And what happens when when you do that? The Lord's gonna be ashamed of you. Because we're supposed to have joy in this truth, man. You're not supposed to be. How are you gonna be uh, uh, calling yourself a man of the Lord? You ashamed of the Lord? You know, and that comes with. You know, which we don't understand, you got to be wise, all right? Wise as a serpent, harvin as, harmless as a dove, be circumspect, cast not thy pearls before the swine. But you're not supposed to be ashamed if somebody asks you uh, about this truth, man. If somebody asks you that you know your boss or whatever, you use discretion, but you're not supposed to be ashamed of this truth, man. Like, I don't, I don't know if I should say something because... Whatever the case, man, you ashamed of the truth, then, man. And again, you use discretion, but don't be ashamed of the truth, man. The Lord, if you really believe in the Lord, the Lord's gonna be there for you, man. I personally give can give a testimony on that. All right, some dude came across the videos at my my old previous job, and um, I wasn't ashamed. He asked questions, or I gave it to him. They never fired me. All right. I never, I was never ashamed of give, giving them the answers of what I believed in. The reason I said previous job is because I, I got a better job, of course. So I don't work there anymore. But I never got fired because of this truth. Because why? Well, I wasn't ashamed. I believed in the Lord. So ultimately, the Lord had my back. All right, let's go to First Peter 3 and 15. It says, but, but sanctify the Lord, how about you mouth shy in your hearts? And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh, asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. There you go. Be ready to give every man 
an answer, man. Again, you use discretion. Don't be an idiot. But don't be ashamed of the Lord either. Don't don't let this scripture be a reason why you uh, why you 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 just gonna sit there with your mouth uh, closed, man. All right. Especially if you're gonna shame the Lord, man. If you're gonna be ashamed of the Lord. This is uh. Let's go to Hebrews chapter two. Verse eleven. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one. For which cause he for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. Alright, so Yahushua wasn't ashamed of us. He wasn't ashamed to call us brethren. He wasn't ashamed to pro uh, 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 profess his truth. Right? It says verse twelve. Saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. Alright, so we're supposed to what? To be in that same spirit. Supposed to be in that same spirit of, of what? Praising you, Yahweh Shem Shai first and foremost. And and uh uplifting the brotherhood, man. And how do you how are you gonna do that if you're ashamed of the Lord? How are you gonna do that if you're ashamed of the gospel? Like right, just because you're you know, you're a woman or somebody might not agree with you. Was that is it does that change the truth? Because somebody don't agree with you? Nope. Romans 3 and 3. For, for what if someone did not believe? You're not supposed to be ashamed of this truth because people don't believe. You know how many people will come to this truth? If that was the case, nobody. Because um, the majority ain't, ain't going to believe. Alright. This is a Philippians. This is a Philippians 1 and 20. 20. And I'm just getting out precepts uh, according to being ashamed, you know. Philippians 1 and 20, according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed. Does that mean you're not supposed to be, <laughs> you're not, you know, you take a shit on somebody's floor. You're not supposed to be ashamed. No, that's not what that's talking about. You're talking about ashamed according to this gospel, man, according to this truth. You're not supposed to be ashamed of nothing according to the truth, man. All right, we bring it out raw, rugged, and rough. All right, we bring out, we ate the whole row and we're going to bring it out and not be ashamed of it. It's Philippians 1 and 20, it says, according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Hamashiach shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or death. So what? In all boldness, you're supposed to magnify this truth, man. Whether it be by life or death. If you die, whether we live or whether we... Oh, well, verse 21. For to, for to me... To live is in Hamashiach, and to die is gain. All right. But if uh, there's a one scripture that says whether whether we live or whether we die, we live and die for Hamashiach. You know, roughly paraphrased. But nonetheless, that's that's what it is, man. You're not supposed to be ashamed, man. You're supposed to, with all boldness, speak this word, man. To what? To magnify Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. To magnify Yahweh Shai, who died for us on that cross, man. He in no way was ashamed of us. Slap. He didn't show no, uh, uh, no, 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 no characteristics of being ashamed. So why would you be, man? He left us the example of how to walk. So now let's walk it to the best of our ability. Let's go to um Psalms. And verse forty six. It says, I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings. I will not be ashamed. So it don't matter who you speaking them in front of, man. Even kings. Who's the king of this world, man? Who are the kings of this world, man? Esau, Edom. All right, so if you get brought up in front of kings, governors, all right, the magistrates, whatever, you're supposed to speak this word. You're supposed to speak the testimony of Yahweh Shemashai and not be ashamed. Right? So how much more on your everyday walk? And again, I'm not telling you to go blurt out, all right, start screaming at people that they're Edomites and two thirds. No, I'm talking about not being ashamed of this gospel, man. Because people are going to ask you, they're going to inquire. Of course, you use subtility, all right. Why is it a serpent? 
But if if they know, then what? You're going to deny it? They they know exactly what you're into. They seen you on the highways and byways and they're going to call you out on it. What, are you going to deny the Lord? You're going to be ashamed of him now? You know? Let's keep going, though. This is, um... Second Timothy 1 and 8. It says, Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Don't be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, man. Yeah, you tell them everything about it, man. If they, yeah, you know, it, uh, I mean, I don't have to keep repeating, man. Don't be uh, ashamed of the testimony of the Lord, man. Talking about how he lived, why he died, who he died for, how he's coming back. All right. The prophecies. Okay. What he looked like. It says, nor of me, his prisoner. Don't be ashamed of the brotherhood either, man. Who is that? Oh, th th those are my friends. You know, I, don't, I just I just know them. Nah, man. Don't, if somebody, if I'm around the brotherhood and somebody asks who are them, I say, those are my brothers. And I leave it at that. It says, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the most high. So if the Lord, Yahweh Shai, had to go through those afflictions. All right, he had to be. Uh, he had to suffer. Well, you gonna be you 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 too ashamed to suffer with him? It says, "Who saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to His own purpose and grace, which was given us in Hamashiach Yahushai before the world began." All right. Let me jump to twelve. It says, "Yeah, twelve. It says, for the which cause I also suffer these things." Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. So if you believe in your heart by Shema Rishai, there's no reason for you to be ashamed. There's no reason for you to doubt. Alright? Because he, he, he promised you something, so do you, you rather believe or you don't? You either ashamed or... Or not ashamed, you know. There ain't no in betweens. So let's go to um. Let's go to First Peter again. First Peter four. First Peter four and sixteen. It says, "If any man suffer, we just read how the Lord suffered for us, right?" It says, "If any man suffer as a Christian." Let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify the Most High on this behalf. All right? There you go. Don't be ashamed just because you're suffering, man. Now you want to start denying the Lord, man. That's that's a that's a weak spirit. That's a bitch spirit. A bitch-made spirit. All right? When you suffer, you're supposed to rejoice, man. All right? When when, uh, when men revile you. For Yahweh by Shimei was shy namesake, you're supposed to rejoice, not be ashamed. Now you're starting to retract, or you're starting to uh, tiptoe back into the world, man. That's bullshit. The Lord wasn't ashamed for, 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 for us. He wasn't ashamed in this gospel. Why the hell are you ashamed, man? You ain't going to be on the cross. You ain't have to go through what Yahweh Shai went through. All right. So we'll close it out with... Uh, Two, two, two more scriptures. It's in Psalms 25 verse 20. And it reads, O keep my soul and deliver me. Let not me let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. So if you put your trust in your Habashim Rashai, if you claim to love your Habashim Rashai, you, you, you believe in him, well, put your trust in him, man. And guess what? And don't, is the scripture, David, oh, is this a Psalm of David? Yep. Psalm of David, let me not be ashamed. That's something you should pray for. Right? Pray pray to the Lord that you don't be ashamed, man. Alright? Put your trust in the Lord and you won't be ashamed of him, man. Truly, man. Not not just out of your mouth, man. Through your actions, man. Alright? Through, you, through your faith. One more scripture. I think... Yep. Psalm 70 and 2. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. 
Let them be turned backward and put to confusion. Their desire might hurt. So that's who should be ashamed. That's who is going to be ashamed. Those that are going to persecute those that believe in you. How about shame outside? Those that come up against us, those are the ones that are going to be ashamed and confounded, man. Not us, not those that believe in you, how about Shema Shai, that trust in him, that hope in his salvation. All right? But those that come up against us, those are the ones that are going to be ashamed. Okay? So remember that. Psalm 70 and 2, man. Ain't no reason for us to be ashamed of nothing. We doing what's right. And don't never think once that you're doing something wrong if you're doing it according to the words, statutes, and commandments. All right? According to this word, all right. According to the gospel, you coming in the right spirit. You have Hashem Hashem. There's no reason for you to be ashamed. But what? Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after our souls, man. So those coming up against us, those are going to be the ones that are confounded, man. All right. So Lord's word well, was edifying and exhorting to you, Akiyam. Hey, keep this, keep the faith and continue to push. Shalom.